Guilty as charged. I am Tim Sullivan. We are here today at the Sheffield showroom for the Sheffield premiere of my new film, 2001 Maniacs, Field of Screams. It's a sequel to a remake. <laughs> a sequel to a remake of Herschel Gordon Lewis's film, 2000 Maniacs, which he, Herschel made in 1964. I would consider the birth in cinema of what I like to call splat stick, something that they did in the EC comics of the 1950s, but it's more of a very comedic view of horror where murder is sort of the deadly punchline to a very morbid joke. And, you know, maybe instead of a pie in your face, it's a severed head. But he inadvertently started a genre that then, you know, carried on into films, you know, such as you know, American Werewolf in London, Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things, um, uh, Dead Alive, Evil Dead, all the way up to Shaun of the Dead, you know, and, and then I'd like to think that coming full circle with 2001 Maniacs, which was a valentine to what Herschel did in the drive-in movies and the exploitation movies, and so here we are, having made the first one, you know, there definitely was a call for a second one, so, you know, I answered the call. Um, you know, 2001 Maniacs uh, it had a lot of comedic elements to it that I found over the time um, the, the audience members have responded to those moments quite a bit. So in doing the second one, we felt that, you know, let's just embrace that 100%. And, you know, we're not trying to scare anybody. We might shock them with the audacity and the, of the, and the subversive nature of the humor. And, and, uh, but we really set out to do just a fun, burlesque, vaudeville show. And, you know, in the movie, whereas the first one was a group of college kids, a group of, nor you know, traveling northerners who take the detour road and end up in Pleasant Valley, which is pretty much, you know, uh, Herschel's great concept of this, this southern town that during the Civil War was burnt to the ground by renegade northerners. And every year on the anniversary of that massacre, the, ta the town and the townsfolk come back to life to extract revenge on as many northerners as they could round up in the 24-hour period that they have. Since the maniacs have... Um, yeah, the first, their first, the, the massacre was 1864. Theoretically, every year hence, they have come back. That's, that's like 145 festivals that have happened. Uh, we have a graphic novel that Avatar Publishing puts out that's called The Curse of the Confederacy that actually tells the origin of how this all happened. But, you know, we could look to the future, look to the past. I mean, there's, you know, I, I, there's so many stories. I mean, we could do one that's set in 1969. It, it could be a bunch of kids on the hippies in a, in a sort of a magical mystery tour style bus that end up in Pleasant Valley on their way to Woodstock. You know, you could set it in the 20s and have a bunch of gang, bootlegging gangsters end up and have it be, you know, James Cack. Cagney versus the Maniacs, or we could have you know Jimmy Hoffa and explain where he went. You know, I also thought of doing uh, maybe you know Bin Laden versus Buckman, and have a bunch of you know Taliban terrorists en route to blow up the White House get detoured in Pleasant Valley, and have you know Buckman do what Bush never was able to do in the last ten years, and that's get Bin Laden once and for all. Uh, or maybe Maniacs in the Hood. You know, there's there's it's really you could take it in so many different directions. You know. And I definitely want to do that. And we've been very blessed that, um, you know, uh, Anchor Bay UK and Tiberius in Germany have been, you know, they were, the, they were the, the, the first distributors to step up to the plate with a financial commitment towards this movie, uh, this franchise sequel. And that is what got this movie made. And they both, I mean, they both have indicated that they want more. And, um, you know, Anchor Bay UK is, is a hero among indie horror because, you know, uh, they're not treating this as just a, a, what they call, what some people call a pump and dump, where you just sort of, you know, dump five horror titles out, you know, eight films to die for or whatever, and they're just dumped out all at once like lunch meat out of delicatessen. No, they are taking the time to, 
you know, show, bring me out to uh, the UK and Ireland and show the film. And we premiered at Fright Fest in Glasgow. And then in a couple of days, we're going to show it in London. And my mentor, John Landis, is going to host it. And, you know, they're talking about doing uh, you know, a limited theatrical, maybe some midnight screenings. And that's, that's really what this film is. I mean, let's be honest. This film uh, is meant to be watched with uh, surrounded by pizza and beer and you know 10 o'clock at night on a Saturday or you know and, and just have a good time. I wanted the film to have the feeling just as the maniacs put on the show for their guests of honor, their victims, I sort of wanted this to be sort of in the same vein a, a an entertainment a horror variety show for the audience who comes to see it.